A star-studded dance-a-thon for AIDS research filled L.A. Shrine Auditorium tonight. More than 3,000 people turned out, including Madonna, Stacey Q, and Steve Bronski. Music was both live and recorded on what's billed as the largest wooden dance floor west of the Mississippi. Disc jockeys from five L.A. nightclubs donated their services. Dancers donated at least $75 each, with all proceeds going to AIDS Project Los Angeles. In addition to research, they'll use the money for counseling, housing, food, and in-home health care. Gang Godfathers, a special report Tuesday at 7.30. And the second reason I'm here is because I love to dance. <laughs> and dance she did. In fact, Madonna danced. <laughs> and danced. <laughs> and danced for nearly an hour straight, along with her pal Sandra Bernhard, her Who's That Girl co-star Cody Mundy, and backup singer Nikki Harris. They're here to make sure that I um, don't perform too many nasty dance moves. That Christopher Flynn is responsible for teaching me. Chris Flynn, who introduced Madonna at this fundraising dance-a-thon for the AIDS Project of L.A., is an AIDS victim himself. He's also the first dance teacher Madonna ever had, and still a very close friend. You will understand the depth of my faith in her when I tell you that she was among the first persons I turned to when I was diagnosed. She understands. She cares. And like you, she knows that being here makes all the difference. You know, he's thanking me for being here, but I have to say thank you to him because he's the man responsible for encouraging me to go after my dreams, to go to New York, to, I don't know. I, he taught me, I went to my first dance class with him. He's a great guy. As your oldest living disco partner, I claim the first dance. They are boogieing by the thousands tonight at an AIDS dance-a-thon right here in Los Angeles. Some 3,000 dancers crowded into the Shrine Auditorium for the five-hour event. One of this person with AIDS, he introduced one celebrity who is backing the event held by AIDS Project LA. I'm, I'm really here for two reasons. Number one is because I really believe in AIDS Project LA. And the services, the services that they have provided for people with AIDS and in the Los Angeles community and for the prevention education that they support and um, and the second reason I'm here is because I love to dance. Well, disc jockeys from LA's major discotheques are also donating their services for tonight's dance a -thon. The longest dance in L.A. this weekend is finally history. Some 3,000 people, including Madonna, took to their feet for five hours tonight to benefit the AIDS Project Los Angeles. And Madonna was dancing enough for five people. The dance-a-thon is expected to raise several hundred thousand dollars, and organizers say the money will go towards programs, that help support people suffering from AIDS. A good cause and lots of fun, especially because that's the Shrine Auditorium, which has the largest wooden dance floor west of the Mississippi. And I would say they needed that dance floor to handle this woman here. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Harold Green and Angela Black, Dallas Rains has weather, and Jim Hill with sports. Now, the Southland's leading news, Eyewitness News at 11. Just ahead right here, the Shrine Auditorium was rocking and rolling tonight at a special dance-a-thon to raise money to fight AIDS. And some famous folks showed up to lend a hand and a foot. Participants danced a total of five 45-minute segments with 15-minute breaks in between. One lucky little fellow had the pleasure of dancing with pop singer Madonna. The dancers had to raise $75 or more to participate in the event. All proceeds from tonight's dance-a-thon will be used by AIDS Project LA to pay for counseling, housing, food, and health care for folks with AIDS. Looks like they all got a good aerobic workout there, too.